Take me. They know that you are great. That each and every one of us is great. The desire of each and every one of us is um, we want to be great. It is actually built in every single of us already. And the sad thing is every one of us want to be a leader. Greatness is defined to have power, possession, prestige, and position. Don't let the world define greatness for you. But we let God define it within you. Let's um, get our eyes off focus on ourselves. Fix our gaze on Jesus Christ. He will keep us humble, equip us, and serve us and will lead us to the place of exaltation in the kingdom of God. Iba ang sikat. It's, it's something that you want to be famous. But the question is, is Jesus Christ famous within you? Serving is doing something to someone but you're not expecting anything in return. So, is it hard to serve? Yes, it is. We actually, um, now on uh, the era of self-serving society, we want everything, me, I, and myself. So, serving is a privilege that um, I pray that we could make it as a lifestyle. You're not just here just to occupy space. You are here to make a contribution. We are commanded not only to serve and worship God, but to do it joyfully. God's light in our lives is the ultimate cause of joy and fulfillment. So as Christians, we do what we do to honor God. It is the reason for everything we do and the motivation that guides our action. Uh, so submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge Him in our work and service and keep Him at the forefront of our minds as we go. If you wait for the perfect condition, you will never get anything done. So there will be no perfect time. So as a servant, it will start on the mind. If we want to walk with God, then we don't compare. We don't conform and we don't compete. So we need to put ourselves in the position whereby you can empty ourselves in the service of God. We should actually think not self-centered, but a Christ-centered mindset. So if there's an unpleasant situation or, or there is the uh, inimaginable crisis that happening into you, how will you respond to it? When you say, the, the heart, we should have that right reason, right intention, right motives. So as a servant, you must be willing to let God interfere on our schedules. Because sometimes actually we only serve with is convenient to us. Are you willing to be interrupted from your schedules? True servant always look for ways that they might be able to serve others and take that opportunity. Because true servant remembers that all our gift, tangible and intangible, have been entrusted to us by God. Use that um, talent for God's glory. Jesus redefined greatness as service. Service should be our great ambition. Every single thing that actually we do for Christ is a part of service. Be involved. Do not just uh, be an spectator. Be a contributor. Living like Jesus is about giving of ourselves when you don't have to. It's about lovingly serving not just our friends, but also those people that will betray us. Which basin are you going to choose? A basin of selfishness or a basin of selflessness? And to unlock that greatness into you and me is by serving.